Hi, this is Ginger from My Sister Scrapper. Today I want to share a design team project with you. This is for Butterbee Scraps, Artistic Treasures. I use the gorgeous Prima French Riviera paper collection from Frank Garcia. And I also use one of the Memory Hardware uh, pre-made chipboard albums from Prima by Frank Garcia too. I hadn't done a chipboard album in a long time and I thought, oh, this would be really fun. So what I did on the front cover, this is um, kind of like a gatefold or it's got a little latch over here on the front. What I did is I added some of the gorgeous metal corners right here and then I added a metal butterfly. I added a little filigree right here to the center and then one of her little door handles right here or drawer pulls and then this large leaf is one of hers as well and then the flowers are all from Prima from the collection as well, the French Rivera collection. And then I use one of the ephemera pieces right here. And then this is one of the new doilies that she has in her shop now. So she has some um, crochet doilies and they're fabulous. This is one of the smaller ones. This is actually a piece of uh, lace that I had in my stash right here. And this trim is some that I had in my stash as well. And I just tied that. The cool thing about this album is the binding is loose right here. So you can run the ribbon through and tie it. And then I added one of her metal keys here as well. So you open it up, it does have a magnetic closure, so you open it up like this. And I did ink around all the edges with walnut stain, and then I went around the outside edges with black soot. So you open it up, and on the inside front cover, again, I have another one of the metal corners right here. And I layered a couple of the metal flowers on top of each other, and then I used uh, some of the ephemera cards. I added a little pearl bling to the center of those flowers right there. So for the first page again now, these are chipboard pages because it's a pre-made album and I just put the design paper on them as well, on the pages. Inked around all of them with walnut stain. I made a little pocket out of this ephemera card. I used actually the journaling cards as well. That's what these are, the 3 by 4 I added a little metal leaf from Butterbee Scraps and another little filigree, small filigree here. And then I added one of the cards inside as a text spot. Over here on this page, I made this like a two-page layout. So I have another uh, photo mat here and a photo mat here. And this is the reverse side of the journaling cards. I added a large filigree here, another little cream flower. And these are some little petally leaves that I had left over from something. I added a, and yeah, this is a prima flower and this one is a prima flower and that's from the French Riviera collection. Again another metal filigree right here and I did leave it open so you can slide the photo up underneath that metal piece. Over here again I thought this paper was so fabulous so I just added both of the papers right here and added two corners here so you can put a large photo here and a larger photo here. Over here I made this one a tuck spot so you can slide something underneath there if you want. Again another metal piece from Butterbee Scraps and another little Prima Flower from the collection. Over here I added one of the, um, I'm not sure what you call these things, but <laughs> I think you can put like a little clear glass cabochon over them um, and you could do like a photo or something in there as well would be super cute, but I did just used it as a metal embellishment and I made a little banner from some of those leftover papers. I adhered this down on two sides and made a check spot with some more journaling cards. Over here I layered some more of the metal filigrees on top of each other here and I just left this open so you can slide the photo under there. Over here I made a cute little tag. This is a belly band with one of the ephemera cards, some more of the prima flowers. And this is just one of the tags, one of the ranger tags and I just used the same ribbon from the outside and tied it with some of the twine from May Arts. Over here I used one of the metal gears on top of this piece of ephemera here. And then I made a little tuck spot here and stuck this little tiny bingo card and a little ticket inside. Another photo mat right here with a metal filigree, another prima flower, and a couple more petally leaves. Over here I fussy cut this piece out from the collection and I layered it on top because this is actually the paper and I this piece is actually on here. So I just, just to give it some dimension because I really liked all the little images that were on this paper. Over here I created a little belly band and um, a tuck spot as well. You can put another ephemera card in here. And there's a little journal spot right here that says the French Riviera. And it's a tight fit, but it does fit. I took my metal embellishment and I cut it in half because that's the beauty of her metal. It's nice and thin. You can use your Timmy scissors and cut it in half and I stretched it out. That way I could have the uh, metal sticking out on both sides. Over here, another little metal filigree with a cute little prima flower right there and another photo mat. I adhered this down on the two sides and added another smaller metal corner. And I'll have a list of everything um, in the description box of the video.
some more of the ephemera cards. This collection is divine. So pretty. And on the back inside cover, I added a large metal corner here, another fiddle gray here, some more of the flowers to the corner here from the collection, as well as a couple more petal leaves. And on the back inside cover, I used one of the larger doilies here and a larger, um, again, I think you can put like a cameo or a cabochon or something right here on this metal piece, but I just layered it on top of the doily. This is one of the larger doilies that she had in her shop. And then some more of the little uh, prima flowers from the collection and some petal leaves. And then there is a magnet closure in here already that so it comes that way so you don't have to worry about adding any magnets to close it up. So there you go and it just closes like this. And there, whoops, my key came off. So there you have it everybody. That's my little design team project for Butterbee Scraps using some fabulous metal and doilies this time and the Prima French Riviera Paper Collection by Frank Garcia. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Bye.